is from Alpha's main plant in Arezi is one of the most famous and oldest coach builders in Italy, and that is Zagato. And what they do here, they take an Alpha 75 body like this, they send it to, over to Turin for strengthening of the body, and then they have a rather unique process, is that they glue the panels of their design onto the basic chassis, and that's how they get this, this uh, unique shape that they have. And also, of course, uh, do other things like uh, tuning the suspension to make it a better road holder and a better performance car. It's the individual touch as the coach builders put the finishing touches to each and every panel of the Zagato, painstakingly, slowly, and by hand. And after the body panels have been glued to the chassis in this rather special way, that's the basic one, then the external ones, like the boot lid and the bonnet, are then added to the car, and the final fitting of the panels is made before it goes along to the paint shop. And here's the final preparation before the, the body goes into the paint shop where the acrylic resin panels have been cleaned and then roughened up so that the paint gets a better grip on these panels. The hand building of these uh, Alfa Romeo Zagata RS models continues by these Italian craftsmen. First it gets its uh, first undercoat and then it's water sanded down before going into the paint booth and receiving its second and third coats. After receiving its final coats of paint, it then goes into a booth for its weather protection and also underbody sealing. Once the body shell has come out of the paint shop, again the craftsmen get to work, giving the body a sheepskin buff to bring out the sheen and the gloss on the panels. Everything, once again, done by hand by craftsmen. And as you can see, you can find no robotics in Zagata. And this is the trim line where the, the wiring is put in, they put in, they put in the uh, carpets, all the other trimming, and so starts to progress dashboards, etc., down the trim line before it goes on to the final assembly line and the mechanics are then added to the motor car. And after 10 days of lovingly building these motor cars, the V6 3-litre engine supplied by Alfa Romeo is finally fitted into the chassis along with its gearbox and drivetrain. But plenty of tests follow before the cars go to the showrooms. Items to be tightened up or torqued are then painted for later checking by the safety inspector. Engine tests follow with the engines being run for several hours before the Zagato undergoes its final examination, a 500 kilometer flat out run along the fast autostradas outside Milan. And here is the South Africa connection. If you remember Alfa Romeo in Britain, South Africa, you'll remember Lydia Piva, the chief tester for Alfa, who's now moved over to Italy and is now doing the same job for Zagato. The cockpit, with its distinctive white-faced instrumentation, fits the driver like a glove. In fact, the final product is designed to be a total extension of the driver himself, as dictated by designer Ercole Spada and his team, who've extended the Zagato Touch to other famous cars. Here, for example, is a Ferrari 308, which has been given the full treatment. And it's not only the 308 which has been awarded the Zagato styling, but the famous and super quick Ferrari Testarossa has also been given the look that the designers at Aresi have decreed it should have.